Hey everybody, welcome back to Dad Does Videos. We've got a quick hitter for you today. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where whether it's a drawer pull or a cabinet pull or a cupboard pull, whatever it is, you've been using them for years, right? And then all of a sudden you go to use them and your, your pool just falls off, right? Something strips, something goes wrong. It doesn't matter how hard you try to put the screw back in, right? And put the knob back on, it just won't catch. You know, you hold the screwdriver in here on the back side, but nothing works. I'm gonna show you how to fix this today. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is figure out what size the screw is that is currently being used in your drawer pool or cupboard pool or whatever it is, right? And mine's an eight thirty seconds, um, and it's 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 not one and a half inches. I purposely actually bought this a little bit longer because I wanted to be sure I could cut off a little bit of my new screw. So if you have one of these wire strippers and wire gauges, uh, use this. But what I did is found the right the right hole that my screw would go into and just tested each one of these and just screwed it in. And that's how I found out I had the 830 seconds width on my screw. So then I got home after I went to Home Depot and got these, these screws that you see here. And again, I got purposely got them longer than my current screw because I wanted to have a chance to actually cut it a little bit longer than what it is today. And as you can see here, as I try to line this up, I made a little mark with a Sharpie right here to make it slightly longer than my screw right here. And that just gives me a couple extra millimeters so that um, it allows the, the knob to, to screw on and catch the thread here. So what I'm going to do is actually insert my new screw into the 830 seconds hole right here so I get my mark right in the middle of where that hole is and then just use it to, um, to cut the screw. Okay, as you can see here, I have my screw inserted into the relevant hole of the width of my screw. And then what you need to do is actually just screw it into the hole. You can see my mark right up here where I'm gonna go in. So I'm just gonna screw this in and you don't necessarily have to do this. It's just a lot easier if you screw it in rather than trying to twist it with your fingers. So I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get it to the right place. So I think I got it to a place where I'm satisfied. And in worst case, because it makes it a little bit challenging, right, to see where your actual mark is in here. Um, if you're not sure, just cut it a little bit longer. You can always go back and, and trim it and make it a little bit shorter. So I'm all I'm going to do here is just push these handles together and it'll cut the screw right in half. There you go, you saw it fly. <laughs> all you have to do is twist this out. And again, use your screwdriver if you need to, to twist it out. And so now that we have our screw cut to size, we are just going to put it in the back. Like so. We got our knob, right? Just hold that screw down. I'm gonna grab my screwdriver in a second after this this knob catches. There you go. And just use the screwdriver to hold the knob in place, and then or the screw in place, and then twist your knob. Till it doesn't go anymore. That's it. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.